Oh, what's poppin'? Slice and dice. Gang! Man, peace and blessings to everybody watching your boy. It's your boy, Cardo. Back at it again with another video. And since I'm back, do me a favor, do me a solid. It ain't nothing to it but to do it. Pound that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Follow me on my socials. I got the links in the description. I will highly appreciate that. Hey, yo, Slice and Dice gang, they out. I know they out. They should be. But y'all know I'm going to tell y'all to do it anyway. Grab the swords out. What we doing in this video because we do it every trip. We slicing and dicing with the scriptures. We always going back to our father's truth. That's only right. We got to do something else. We got to give respect. We got to do this every single morning. You feel me? So do this with me. Let's thank the most high. Who? Our almighty heavenly father. For what? For allowing us to be here. Today. Yes, sir. Indeed. Now it's possible. It's possible. Some of y'all may not know me. You may just now be tuning in to Cardo TV. It's your first time. So I got to let you know what you in for if you subscribe, if you hit that button. If you subscribe to Cardo TV, let me tell you something. You ready to receive this word? You see how Slice and Dice game getting the sword sharpened up? Yeah, we slicing and dicing with these scriptures. You got to receive this word. Our father gave us this word. We, we only serve one father over here. The father of Abraham, the father of Isaac, and the father of Jacob. The father of Israel, the father of the Messiah, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Mm, mm, mm. If you subscribe, you're ready to turn away from that sin. You, you, you're ready to repent. You're ready to put forth more effort to change your ways and obey our father. You're ready to start using your gifts and talents because God gave you some. He gave you a whole plan. You're ready to start using them, serving other people to make this world a better place. You're ready to grow spiritually. And you ready for your faith to stay on 10. That faith, we got to continue to have it standing on 10, all right? You ready to be a light in the darkness. If you feeling that, subscribe to the channel and welcome. Now today, everybody, we talking about ways to satisfy the Holy Spirit. We have to continue to do things to satisfy this spirit that God gave us. We want to satisfy as much as possible so that we can live our lives the way God wants us to. You feel me? You see You see how I said before how he created you? On purpose, with a purpose, with gifts and talents. Now, if you obey him, using your gifts and talents that he gave you, and you satisfying that Holy Spirit, yes sir, indeed, God's will is being done. And that's what we should be doing every single day. Y'all ready to talk about it? I sure hope so. The sword should be out. Let's dive on in. Mm-hmm. Satisfying the Holy Spirit. Number one, walking in obedience. Obedience demonstrates our trust and reverence for God, allowing the Holy Spirit to work freely in our lives without hindrance. So if you are continuing to sin, thank you, Holy Spirit. That's most definitely not satisfying the Holy Spirit. You know who you satisfying when you're doing that? Satan. No, sir. No, sir. Put this in the comments right now. Satisfying the Holy Spirit over Satan. Most definitely. That Holy Spirit will not be able to work the way that it can if you continue to sin and not repent. That's not obeying our Heavenly Father. We got law, statutes and the commandments to obey. So it's like you have to obey them so that Holy Spirit could continue to overflow. Y'all know I like saying that. Put that in the comments as well. Let's satisfy the Holy Spirit so that it can overflow. Y'all know what goes down when the Holy Spirit overflowing. Oh, some of y'all may not know. When the Holy Spirit is overflowing, it's so many things that you receive from the Heavenly Father. You receive so much discernment. You receive so much wisdom, so much guidance. The Holy Spirit will allow you to see things that the naked eye can't. It will allow you to feel things that, the, that you really normally can't feel. It's just the power working within you. It's protecting you. It's doing so many things. And the Heavenly Father, he knew what he was doing when he gave us this Holy Spirit. That's why he wants us operating in it the best way that we can. So some of y'all just need to ask for it. If you ain't asked for the Holy Spirit, that's all you got to do. 
Ask the Heavenly Father right now if you never asked for the Holy Spirit and also ask for it to overflow and ask for this every single day so that we can be used accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, we got to be obedient to satisfy this Holy Spirit, y'all. Are they out? Should be. Get them out. Slice and dice time. Mm -hmm. Ephesians 4 verse 30. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. By whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Please don't do it. That's not satisfaction at all. All right. Let's continue to the next point. Cultivating a spirit of thankfulness. Yes, sir. Gratitude shifts our focus from ourselves to God. Acknowledging his sovereignty and provision in our lives, which pleases the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. We got to be thankful. There's so many things for us to be thankful for. That's why I be telling y'all, man, when things is going on in your life that you don't like, things is going on that you don't understand, which we shouldn't be understanding anyway, because we're not supposed to lean on our own understanding. Let me put that scripture up there. Yes, sir. Indeed. So it's just like when it comes to this Holy Spirit, if we continue to thank God in all circumstances, that will keep you humble. That would keep your attention focused on the Heavenly Father rather than yourself. Because the more we focus on him, the more we will be able to get to know him. The closer we'll be able to get, get to him. The closer we get to him, the more he'll get closer to us. That's the goal. That's what we need. So that Holy Spirit can overflow and be satisfied. Because when we in God's presence, I'm trying to tell you, it's nothing like it. It's nothing like it. But it's like you got to really want and crave this thing. It's not going to fall into your lap. You got to put this work in. Why? Because faith is dead without works. So it's just like continue to be thankful in all circumstances. Also, it's another thing to be thankful for. This may not make sense, but hear me out on this. When things happen to you that may hurt you, you need to be thankful for that as well. Because God is not just putting you through that to hurt you. He's putting you through that to make you grow. He's putting you through that so that... um you'll be able to understand that much more on why he's um, allowing these things to happen to you because it's all out of love, that, that understanding, you know what I mean? And then it's just like, it's a lot of things that we have been brought out of that we sometimes, you know what I'm saying, forget that it was God that got us out of that. And if it wasn't for God, we wouldn't be here. You know what I mean? All the love and grace that he has for us. And he gives us so much time, y'all. He is a patient God. We need to be thankful for his patience. Put that in the comments. Thank you, God, for being patient with me. Because you better believe he is. I know he's patient with me. He most definitely have been patient with me. Got to be thankful. And then it's just like also when you continue to be thankful, satisfying that Holy Spirit, it'll kick out that pride. And we, we, we don't need that pride. No, sir. No, sir. Because pride kills most definitely thinking that everything that you're doing is because of you out of your own strength. No, sir. No, sir. Nothing can be done without our heavenly father. And that's why every single day. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We need to be more specific with our prayers. Let's start to be more specific with our prayers every day, asking for everything. Like when I prayed this morning, I made sure I asked the heavenly father for all of the strength needed to get through the day all of the discernment needed to get through the day the day all of the wisdom needed to get through the day the holy spirit i wanted to over overflow today be more specific even if it come to your finances be specific don't just be like overall it's okay to pray and it's nothing wrong with you you know what i'm saying just talking to god about anything right but if we be more specific y'all that's more in depth and you'll be able to, you know what I'm saying, take your time when you're talking to your Heavenly Father. Because sometimes we be praying for things and we don't even be ready for it. You know what I mean? So it's just like, let's just be more specific and bring everything to the kingdom first. And remember to always be thankful. All right? Slice and dice game. Y'all know what time it is. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 18. Give thanks in all circumstances. You hear how that started? It told you already. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. In all circumstances, man, we got to be thankful, good and bad, because it's bringing us closer 
to fulfilling our purpose. God has a reason for everything. Everything happens for a reason. Put it in the comments, everything happens for a reason. Everything. Please believe, all right? Let's continue to the next point. Seeking spiritual growth through prayer and studying that word. Growth in our relationship with God requires intentional effort and the Holy Spirit helps us understand and apply the teachings of scripture through prayer and study. So it's like, often? How often are you meditating in the word? Thank you, Holy Spirit. Have y'all gotten y'all's journals yet? Have you gotten your journals? Just so you can keep track of how you are growing spiritually. So you can keep track on if the Holy Spirit is overflowing within you or not. If you're writing your prayers down, taking your time writing your prayers down, you can wait for a response. That's real meditation. Not rushing through it. Writing down things to be that you are thankful for. Positive things in your journal. Just so you can keep that positive energy. You know what I'm saying? And then it's just like when you're meditating in this word, get them Bible plans. I'm going to keep telling y'all. Find a Bible plan that works for you so you can have structure and you can stick to it just so you're not all over the place with that word. Because sometimes when you have really no structure, I'm not saying it is wrong to just read the word. Of course, we should be in the word, right? Meditating in it. But I'm telling you, if you have a Bible plan and you're writing down your progress, where you where you left off, you know what I'm saying? Just so you don't forget, you can go back to it. Making sure that you at least complete a reading every single day so you don't miss a day of meditation. Because every single time we meditate in that word, you better believe we satisfy in that Holy Spirit. Because God's truth is giving us everything that we need to move with the Holy Spirit. Mm, mm, mm. That word, man, a lot of people don't like to get in that word. Maybe sometimes it's because of how you're reading it. You know? I'm trying to tell y'all, man, I try reading the Bible front to back, Old Testament to the New Testament. I'm going to be honest with y'all. I have never, I, I've never been able to do that. I've read the entire Bible, which we should continue to do. Like after you read the Bible once, do it again. Find another plan. Continue to do it because the more you read the word, you'll gain more, you'll gain new things because we're always going through new things in life and we can never, ever, forever, ever, never. Um, have too much of the Holy Spirit overflowing. Never. We always want to gain as much as we can. God got so much to offer us in that word. So much to offer. But if you're not meditating, you're not going to be able to receive. You're not going to be able to know what God wants us to do to stay obedient. The things that we should do, how we should love, the wisdom that we need, the guidance that we need. Everything is in that word. And it's all prophetic too. So it's just like you read the word, you start to have more understanding on how the Holy Spirit works and just the things around you, the things that's going on around you in the world. You know what I mean? God already knew the things that was going to be happening when you came into this truth. But it's not always easy because we go through spiritual warfare and this is a narrow path. So that's why you got to stay strong and dependent on him. And depending on that word to get you through any obstacle, because it most definitely will. Most definitely will. And when that Holy Spirit is satisfied, because you win that word every single day. I'm trying to tell you, watch the things that's going to start to happen. Watch how you start to feel. You're going to just start to be awakened to new things. Marvelous things. Great things. So much more peace, joy. But you got to tap into it. You got to put the work in, all right? Slice and dice game. They should be out. John 14, verse 26. But the helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring you and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. He will teach you all things. So come on now, continue to read that word so that Holy Spirit can be used within you God's way. Yes, sir, indeed. Satan don't want you doing this. And he may, you know what I'm saying? Do things to try to get you to stop. But guess what? We don't have no spirit of fear. God didn't give us that. We're protected out here. 
And with that Holy Spirit, he gonna have to flee. You continue meditating in that word, he gonna have to flee. Let me put that scripture up top. He got to get on up out of there. We got to keep them doors closed, y'all. And the doors will stay closed if the Holy Spirit continues to be satisfied. Ooh, put it in the comments. I will keep the doors closed by satisfying the Holy Spirit. Yes. Yes, please do. All right. Let's continue. Ooh, yes, sir. Yielding to the fruits of the Spirit. Living out these fruits in our daily lives reflects the character of Christ, fulfilling the work of the Holy Spirit and transforming us to be more like him. That's the goal. God wants us to be more like Jesus Christ. So in order to be more like Jesus Christ, we got to stop sinning, repent, and we got to allow these fruits to be pruned by the Heavenly Father. Yes, sir, indeed. You will allow the fruits to be pruned by continuing to meditate in that word and by continuing to pray, talking to the Heavenly Father every single day. And sometimes when you're not doing those things, God is still pruning you by allowing you to go through things in your life. Sometimes we got to go through things in order to grow, y'all. That's the only way. How do we expect to change? How do we expect to grow if we don't go through certain circumstances? Certain things have to happen. That's why I keep telling y'all everything happens for a reason. Nothing is by mistake. You were not a mistake either. You feel me? So it's just like start acting like it, man. Just start putting all your trust into the Heavenly Father. You have nothing to worry about. Stop focusing on other people and just work on your fruits. A lot of people don't want to work on the fruits. Sometimes, a lot of people don't even really know what the fruits are. Because they in Satan's world. They just lost in Satan's world, not trying to wake up. That's why we got to continue to do our part, satisfying the Holy Spirit, meditating in his word and spreading it. We don't want all of these good fruits for ourselves. We don't want to just have the good news for ourselves. We want this to spread so more people can go to the kingdom. I don't wish nobody to go down and burn forever. That's terrible. That's why I'm obeying my Heavenly Father doing what I'm doing. I got to help as many people as I can, and y'all should too. And that's why I be liking to tell y'all to like the video so the video can spread. That's how it works on YouTube. You like the video, it busts open the algorithms. And it starts to spread. That way more people can have the chance and opportunity to follow Christ. You hear me? What are some fruits that we need to overflow, man? That peace, joy. Love, especially that love, because that's the greatest commandment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Love is the greatest commandment out here. Loving our Heavenly Father, that's the greatest one. Self-control, that's another fruit. It's all of these fruits that we have that is going to allow us to stay obedient, not act out of character. It's going to be doing so many wonders in our lives. Okay, so I also pray for that. I can say it with the specifics, y'all. Ask the Heavenly Father to grow and prune all of the spirits that is needed throughout the day. All right? Slice and dice, gang. Y'all know what time it is. Get them out. Galatians 5, 22 through 23. But the fruit of the Spirit is love. You hear me? Joy, peace, patience. You hear me? Kindness, goodness, faithfulness you hear me gentleness self-control against such things there are there is no law you hear all of those fruits yes we continue to allow those to grow that holy spirit is most definitely being satisfied come on now let's continue i got one more for us y'all one more way we can satisfy this holy spirit serving others in love serving others in love Serving others selflessly demonstrates Christ's love and compassion, allowing the Holy Spirit to work through us to impact others and spread the message of the Gospels. It's no other type of love than what God can give. Because first and foremost, God is love. Put that in the comments. God is love. Before, I keep telling y'all that you got gifts and talents. And they should be used to serve other people out of love, out of love, not to get something out of return. Because you really want to help these people. That's why we got to continue to protect his heart and work on his heart, because everything that comes out of it is what's real. 
And that's what God pays attention to. He pays attention to this heart. He sees if we are truly doing these things out of love or not. You can't fool God out here. He know what's up. Come on, he's God. He's all knowing. He's perfect. You know what I mean? And we're not perfect. So sometimes, you know what I'm saying? We may fall short and we may do things that does not glorify God. But that's why. If we depend on him and ask for this forgiveness and repent. Yes, sir. Indeed, we most definitely can allow him to change us if we take it serious and allow and, and Jesus, which is the best instructor. Put that in the comments. Jesus is our best instructor on how to show us how to love. He was showing so much love and the things that he was going through and was still showing it. Tell me what's better than this when it comes to love. He was getting beat. Insulted. He was getting things done to him to the point to where we can't even think about it. Died for our sins. Think about that. We wouldn't be here if he didn't do it. There's so much love right there. God sent his only son. His only son he sent for us. If that's not love, I don't know what is. So it's just like, why are we not showing as much love as we can? Being just like Jesus. Just like God. It's only right. Come on now. So it's just like, when it comes to you serving other people, do you find yourself doing that at least once a day? We should be doing it as much as possible, but do you find yourself using your gifts and talents at least once a day to help somebody else? If not, come on, it's okay. It's all right, but it's just time to go back to the drawing board. It's time to pray. It's time to talk to the Heavenly Father about what he needs you to do. You have to get to know him so that you can get to know yourself. Thank you, Holy Spirit. When I was put into isolation after dealing with so much narcissistic abuse, everything changed for me. My whole life changed when I was in isolation. Some people are like, isolation? You by yourself. Like, how was that good? Remember before how I was like, even things that happened that we don't like, we should still be thankful? Yes, sir. That's why I'm still thankful for that. Because if I didn't get put into isolation, I would still be dealing with that narcissistic abuse and probably wouldn't even be here. I wouldn't have been able to grow closer to God. I wouldn't have been able to pray that much more, meditate in the word that much more. In isolation, I found my true purpose. And I'm going crazy every day for God. Got to. Y'all should be doing the same. Out of love. You feel me? If some of y'all are still confused on what you are supposed to be doing out here, it's okay. Remember what I said before, God is patient patient right so take your time talk to him and he will reveal he will reveal everything to you but you got to try y'all you got to put forth this effort okay slice and dice game get them so what's out galatians 5 verse 13 for you were called to freedom brothers only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh but through love, serve one another. Every chance that you get, serve one another. And you can do that so many ways. There's so many ways that you can serve others out of love. If it's not using your gifts and talents, spreading this gospel, that's love. Could you giving people opportunity to come to Christ? Giving your testimony, that's love. Because you're helping somebody that may be going through the same thing as you, get through that because you are telling them that God got you through. So now they can, you know what I'm saying, talk to God after. It may inspire them, encourage them. That's love. And it's the small things, y'all. You don't have to know somebody to help somebody out. It's the small things, man. If you out there, you went to the store or something like that, you got that door open, you see somebody coming behind you, let them through. That's love. All acts of kindness, you know what I'm saying? And please believe when you show this love, when you're giving out this positive good energy, it's going to come back to you. God is going to make sure of it. He's going to bless you. Sometimes you may receive backlash when you're doing certain things because demons, Satan, he's working with a lot of people in this dark world. But that's okay. Because we, we're protected. And love 
the light always wins over darkness. Put that in the comments. Love will always defeat darkness. Always. Because God is love, right? And Satan, he already know he about to catch this L. That's why he turning up out here, trying to bring as many people with him to go down. Because misery loves company. He don't want you following Christ. He don't want you to get to know yourself. He don't want you living out your true purpose. He don't want you spreading this love. But we don't care what he wants. We only care about what our father wants and obeying him, right? Yes, sir, indeed. Now, everybody, it was put on my spirit to just talk about the importance of satisfying the Holy Spirit. Ways to satisfy the Holy Spirit. Why we should satisfy the Holy Spirit. And if this hits your soul in any way, pound the like button. Keep it real. Subscribe to your boy. Share the video. I will highly appreciate that. If you stayed this long, you one of the real ones, man. Staying this long. People's attention spans is not that good. Like the average amount of time people watch these videos of mine, it'd be about 10, maybe 15. My videos on average be like 20 minutes or so. But if you stayed this long, I appreciate that. I love you. And you were slicing and dicing with your boy. You know how we get down slice and dice, gang. Yes, sir. Now, before I go, y'all know how I do. At least Slice and Dice Gang do. For the newcomers who may be here, this is how I end my videos. Listen up. It's only right I do it like this. See, I'm going to need y'all to have a nice. I say nice. One more time. Nice. I'm going to need y'all to have a blessed. I say blessed. One more time. <laughs> blessed. Ask for your blessings if you haven't asked for them yet. Sometimes that's all we got to do. Just be He just be waiting for you to talk to him and ask. If you ain't did it, you do it right now. God wants you to receive these blessings. I do. It's only right that you should. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to need y'all to have a B-E-A beautiful day. Peace out. God bless and continue the best way you can to satisfy the Holy Spirit. I'm out of here.